So this week we're on to the diagonal stripe square and I have to admit um, this has taken me a while. I've finished it but it took me maybe four, maybe five starts before I actually got going and I think the problem was I just kept getting lost. So um, I'm getting a bit um, gung-ho actually. I'm not actually writing down what I'm doing anymore and I paid the price this time because if you just so much as get one row wrong it's very, very difficult to work out where you are. Um, and if you then keep on going thinking you fixed it and you'll then realize that actually you haven't so be careful with this one when you've actually finished it it does look quite good um, I really like the 3d effect it looks like you've got little steps walking up it looks really really cool um, I don't know what on earth I've done there there's some kind of I've missed something or but it doesn't seem to have affected um, this side I suppose this will be my good side but it really is quite 3D and actually if you have a look that way you can see that you've got the ridges on it as well. It's quite pretty in the blue. I hope we have to do a couple more of these because I think these are actually quite texturally very very interesting. Um, one thing I am noticing is that my squares are becoming pretty much uniform in their shape. Um, that is they're just about under 15 so my tension is obviously settling down. Um, but uh, it just depends on whether my brain is functioning and what time of the day I do these squares. But this one's quite a good one, but be really careful. I would recommend you write them things down as you go because this does tend to go a little bit wrong um, if you so much as miss a line or miss a couple of stitches. So good luck with this one. I think this is going to be a great addition to ours, uh, our blankets, but make sure you count because if you don't, you may well end up having tantrums like I did.